Hi, this is Shay, and this is the vlog for September. I just wanted to clarify for those who have wondered and questioned about my vlog of last month that the true love I spoke of is your lover. That's the love I'm talking about. That true love is your soul's mate, is your best friend, is your confidant, and according to God, in his way, is your spouse. We can have a friend or a soulmate that's not the true love spouse, but the former is all-inclusive. Like I said, I've been married, been the bad girl, am the good girl, and am currently single and walking with God. Thus, I'm able to speak on this topic. Marriage is the only place ordained by God for sex. Bummer for most. Yep, truth. So, this is the place for sex. This is the place for making love, for love making, for being your best lover to each other. So do your best to be your best lover. Tender, loving, giving, fiery, passionate, fierce, depending on the flavor of your relationship and the mood and the time. And be creative. Never stop dating each other. And please don't defraud each other. Please don't get married and fade out, give up, give in. Don't obtain and then neglect to maintain. All good and great things take time and maintenance. And a marriage relationship is no different. It's high on the scale of prioritization. God, mate, mission. So many people fantasize about marriage. And when it becomes hard work, they bail or they get stale. And they seek other avenues for their satisfaction, for their pleasure, their joy. But ask yourself, would you marry you? Would you marry someone like you? Do you put in the effort to keep yourself up to speed? Do you like yourself? Do you love yourself? Are you a gift to your spouse? Or are you a drain and a drag? You know, it takes two to tango, so you both have to do the tango very well. We expect much from the other person, but how about expecting more from ourselves? And I'm definitely not into the mindset that a marriage is like any other contract, renewable or subject to a cancellation. It's a very selfish mindset. You're just there for the opportunity, suck up what you can, and then you're going to bail. It's supposed to be covenant. Covenant, not contractual. So, of course, like I said, don't slack. Don't let yourself go to pot. Stay alive. Stay viable for yourself and your mate. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet because last month's was long, in my estimation. Love God. Keep God first. Maintain your relationship with the Lord. And then your relationship with your mate, if you have a mate, is the next priority of that trio. And if you don't, be single and satisfied. Some get the true love, some do not. And then when you keep that order, everyone and everything else then comes into its order. So be blessed, stay beautiful, and I'll see you all in October.